Welcome to the Automoto Freak Channel. Greetings to all viewers, subscribers, supporters. So to the point, the 2.5 GDI engine from Hyundai and Kia represents a newer generation of naturally aspirated gasoline direct injection engines, primarily part of their SmartStream engine family. It's designed to offer improved efficiency and power output compared to older, smaller displacement GDI engines while also aiming to address some of the reliability concerns that plagued earlier GDI units, particularly the Theta 2 family. History and versions. SmartStream G2.5 GDI, G4KN slash G4KM slash G4KP slash G4KQ slash G4KR this engine. Distinct from the older 2.4 GDI, Theta 2 G4KJ, and its issues, is a newer design introduced as part of the SmartStream lineup, appearing around 2019 to 2020. It features advanced technologies focused on optimizing combustion and reducing emissions. Power output typically ranges from around 191 HP, 142 kilowatts, for naturally aspirated GDI slash MPI versions to 290 to 304 HP, 216 to 227 kilowatts for the turbocharged 2.5 TGDI versions. It's crucial to distinguish between the naturally aspirated 2.5 GDI and the turbocharged 2.5 TGDI, as they have different characteristics and power levels. This description primarily focuses on the naturally aspirated 2.5 GDI, SmartStream G2.5. Technology, these engines incorporate various SmartStream technologies which can include both GDI and multi-point injection, MPI, for better fuel atomization across the RPM range, variable valve duration, CVVD, improved thermal management, and gasoline particulate filters, GPF, in some markets to meet stricter emission standards. Applications The 2.5 GDI, SmartStream, is found in a growing number of Hyundai and Kia vehicles, often replacing older 2.4 GDI, or even some V6 engines. Hyundai, Sonata, DN8, Santa Fe, TM, slash MX5, Tucson, NX4, Santa Cruz, Palisade, non-turbo versions. Kia, K5, DL3, Sorrento, MQ4, Carnival, KA4, Sportage, and Q5. Also used in some Genesis models, e.g. G80, GV70, slash GV80 often in its more powerful 2.5 TGDI form. Review and Opinions The 2.5 GDI, SmartStream, is generally reviewed as a competent and refined engine for its intended purpose. It offers a noticeable power bump over the 2.0 GDI and aims to be more efficient than its predecessors. Opinions often highlight its smooth operation and adequate power for family vehicles. However, being a relatively newer engine family. Long-term reliability is still being assessed, though early indications are more positive than the problematic Theta 2 family. Praise for smooth and refined operation. Generally runs quietly and smoothly, contributing to a comfortable driving experience. Good power for NA engine. Provides ample power for daily driving, highway merging, and hauling a family without the complexity or cost of a turbocharger. Improved efficiency. SmartStream technologies aim for better fuel economy compared to older, similarly sized engines. Combination fuel injection, GDI plus MPI, many SmartStream GDI engines, including the 2.5 GDI, use both direct and port injection. This is a significant advantage as it helps mitigate carbon buildup on the intake valves, a common GDI issue and improves fuel atomization across various engine loads. Criticized for Lack of punch As a naturally aspirated engine, it lacks the immediate low-end torque and high RPM surge of its turbocharged counterparts. Fuel consumption under load While generally efficient, pushing it hard, especially in heavier SUVs, will still lead to increased fuel consumption. Still a GDI engine. While the dual injection system helps, some level of carbon buildup can still occur over very long periods, though less severely than pure GDI engines. Advantages Reduced carbon buildup 
The combination of GDI and MPI helps significantly reduce the accumulation of carbon deposits on intake valves, a major advantage over older pure GDI engines. Good balance of power and economy offers a strong compromise for everyday driving. Less complex than turbocharged engines. Fewer components to potentially fail, leading to potentially lower long-term maintenance costs. Timing chain. Utilizes a timing chain designed for the life of the engine. Disadvantages. Not as powerful as TGDI. If you prioritize strong acceleration and low-end torque, the naturally aspirated 2.5 GDI won't match the performance of the 2.5 TGDI or other turbocharged engines. Potential for oil consumption, still a watch point while the SmartStream engines are designed with improvements. Oil consumption can still be a concern for some GDI engines over their lifespan. Early reports on some SmartStream 2.5 units mentioned oil consumption issues in Korea, though these are under close monitoring and may be less widespread than the Theta 2 issues. Complexity relative to older MPI, while simpler than TGDI, it's still a modern GDI engine with associated sensors and systems that can be more complex to diagnose than very basic MPI engines. Common faults and breakdowns. Being a relatively newer engine, the widespread catastrophic failures that plague the Theta 2, 2.4 GDI and 2.0 TGDI. Family are not commonly reported for the SmartStream 2.5 GDI. However, potential issues typical for modern GDI engines may include carbon buildup. While significantly mitigated by dual injection, it's not entirely eliminated. Long term, some buildup might occur. Minor oil consumption. Some owners, as per early reports, especially in Korea for some 2.5 SmartStream engines, have noted oil consumption. This is a watch point, and regular oil level checks are prudent. Sensor failures. O2 sensors, MEF sensors, etc. can fail over time, affecting engine performance or check engine lights. Fuel system components. Issues with high-pressure fuel pumps or injectors, though not commonly cited as a widespread fault for this specific engine, are possibilities in any GDI system. Fuel consumption. The 2.5 GDI SmartStream aims for improved fuel efficiency. Real-world consumption will vary based on the vehicle it's in. Heavier SUVs will consume more, driving style, and conditions. Official figures WLTP combined typically range from 8.0 to 9.5L slash 100KM. Real-world consumption. Mixed driving. Owners often report figures between 9.0 to 11.0L slash 100KM. Highway driving. Gentle can achieve 7.5 to 9.0 L slash 100 km. Heavy city driving slash aggressive driving can push consumption above 11.0 to 13.0 L slash 100 km. Timing. The Hyundai slash Kia 2.5 GDI SmartStream engine uses a timing chain. This is a durable component designed to last the life of the engine and does not require periodic replacement like a timing belt leading to lower scheduled maintenance costs. Proper oil changes are crucial for the longevity of the timing chain and its tensioners. Oil. Oil type. The 2.5 GDI SmartStream requires specific, high-quality, full synthetic oils. Specifications often include APISP or SN+, and ILSAC GF 6A. Viscosity is typically 0W, 20, or 5W30. Newer versions, especially those designed for maximum efficiency, frequently specify 0W20. So might also recommend ACS C5 for certain markets. Crucially, always consult your specific vehicle's owner's manual for the exact recommended oil specification and viscosity. Using the wrong oil can compromise engine protection and contribute to issues. Oil capacity, generally around 5.6 to 6.1 liters including the oil filter, but this can vary slightly by vehicle and exact engine variant. Importance. Regular oil changes with the correct specification oil are vital for the health and longevity of this engine. While manufacturer intervals might be longer, e.g. 15,000 kilometers, many specialists recommend shortening these, e.g. to 10,000 kilometers or annually. 
for better long-term protection, especially given the GDI technology and any potential for oil consumption. Regularly checking the oil level between changes is also highly recommended. In summary, the Hyundai slash Kia 2.5 GDI SmartStream engine is a significant step forward from previous naturally aspirated engines. It offers a good blend of power, refinement, and improved efficiency, making it a capable power plant for a wide range of vehicles. The incorporation of both GDI and MPI fuel injection is a key advantage, helping to address the carbon buildup issue common to direct injection engines. While it's a relatively newer engine family, its design improvements suggest better long-term reliability compared to the problematic older Theta-2 engines. As with any modern engine, diligent maintenance, especially using the correct oil and adhering to or shortening oil change intervals, is crucial for its longevity. Thank you for watching the video, and I invite you to subscribe to the Automoto Freak channel. Greetings to everyone, and see you in the next episode. See you soon.